Hi everybody, this is Krista Noel, um, the editor of Best Self Magazine, and I am here with the beautiful Renata Halaska, um, the founder of Balance Pilates in Woodstock, and my Pilates teacher, um, also known as the person who saved my back. This work has been so powerful and has transformed my relationship to my body and the relationship to my health and just sort of overall well-being. And I'm so happy to celebrate here with you. And I think we should have our classes outside. I think from so. Now. Yeah, I really think so. I love it. I love it. Yeah. When I came to you, I had like chronic back aches, you know, from always like sitting at my desk and I was always like running to the chiropractor and um, and it really wasn't until you t I didn't even know what a core was until I met you you have really um, just given me the tools to take care of my body in a really different way and I didn't know how to do a sit-up basically when I first got here I've seen you transform bodies and transform lives and I wanted to talk to you today about how we come up with this just this these excuses not to take care of our bodies and not to show up for our workouts. What do you say to people with the excuse department? With the excuse department? <laughs> well, they first, I think, if I don't want to call it excuse, you know, they, I, I would call it explanation. They come and I said, okay, why don't you just uh, do this home? You know, I send them homework and then they go, you know what, but I have to do this, I have to do this, I don't think I have time, you know, and they spent 10 minutes explaining why they can do it and I just said we just spent 10 minutes here and I tell you it takes really 5 10 15 minutes a right. day to do it you know so I know it's hard to do it you know but I think your body deserves that you know right. so you only have one body and if if you have a, you ha you're driving your car and you feel something like oh my god what is this you know th this noise you know I have to take it to the mechanic you find a time you know to take the car to your mechanic right yeah Okay, but you can also well, always you find buy the time a new, to get your nails done. Yeah, you or, can always buy a new right, car. Right. You know, but you will not find a time for your body. But you will right. find a time to complain and call your friends and tell them, "I have this ache here. I don't know what to do." You know, like, and you you don't call maybe just one friend. You know, then they're gonna give you advice what to do. So instead of this, you know, you really can spend the time, and you deserve this. Your body will deserve that. You know, yeah. Right. So to do, and do, it's just very little. But it's not gonna, you know, happen over right. one or two or three times. That's where my frustration is with some clients when they come and they think it's like an instant, you know, quick fix, you know. And Life if it is about quick yeah. fixes. And if it doesn't happen within like, you know, two, three sessions, some people leave. Right. So they never experience that result. I think something that's so special about you is that you're very intuitive with your class and you sort of meet us where we're at. And I've noticed that because I come every week and it's not the same routine. And somehow you seem to pick up on the room. It is a really special trait to be able to meet them where they're at. And for example, someone shouldn't be intimidated to just show up and start doing this. Obviously they don't want to rush into something that maybe is too advanced. But what I also love about your classes is that it's such a vast demographic. I don't know how you do it, but somehow you manage to intuit that and create a space that is um, welcoming and also positive for, for everyone involved. I think that's really important. I don't want people to think they have to look like you <laughs> to show up to class. Yeah, I think people shouldn't look at it like, I don't want to go to class, I need to lose, you know, I need to get on the diet, lose these 20 pounds, you know, and then I can show up, you know, and because I have a lady who's uh, in her 70s and she's legally blind and she takes whatever class she can take, you know, and just to seeing her, you know, and she doesn't know anything about the body image because she doesn't see who's next to her. She doesn't even oh, see, exactly. you know, I just think like going and starting something like, you know, I have to fix something before I fix something. Just forget about it. You know, it's really about showing up for yourself, it right? Is. And okay, but so not everybody has a Renata that they mm -hmm. can access in, in their town or maybe they don't have the time during the work day mm -hmm. or maybe they're traveling. But one of the reasons I wanted to sit outside with you today is that 
we can take the time, whether it's in a hotel room or in our own backyard mm-hmm. or in our living room or on a snowy day or a rainy day or whatever day. And there are things that we can do. It may not replace a 45 uh, minute or an hour long class, but doing something every day is better than doing nothing, right? Well, I believe if you do 15, 20 minutes and everyone does have the time and everyone somehow can research and find what you need for your body, if that's what you really want, you know? And I think this will make the change. You're gonna feel better and you're gonna look better. Right. Everybody now has a phone, everybody now has a you know computer. I have one of these now. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> oh yeah, and I heard you in a class today. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> because, no, someone uh, was telling to. me in a class today saying, you know, I, I really like when we're using the rollers, you know, and Kristen <laughs> said, use it home. And that's true, that's what I'm... See, I'm becoming uh, your yeah, little protege. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, like use it home because you don't want to pay me for using this. We right. can do different things, you know, right. so this is something everyone should have home. $20, yeah. A lot of times people think, oh, um, I, I'm not really working out unless I'm like, because I was a big run, you know, runner, I love yeah. to run. So I always felt like unless I did that run and I did that cardio and I was sweating my brains out, I didn't think that I was going to have a really good workout. So when I first started coming to Pilates and, you know, yes, you were killing my stomach and mm-hmm. various parts of my body, but I never realized how important the stretching and the opening and take, taking the time because that's, we, we, we dedicate a lot of time to that. And then all of a sudden I realized my shoulders are back. I feeling I'm feeling taller. My back. Yeah. I, I, you know, I'm stretching out. Yeah. You're really open. elongating. Yeah, right. you feel so, like you're your height. Yeah, right. because people they you know especially when you're yeah. sitting at the desk all day. You know, they said this is the new injury. The spine. Yeah, right. exactly. Can you just talk about for a second, like, what why that is so important to do the stretching and to well, first of all, when you don't stretch, you know, your body's aching. Even if you don't use the body, you would think like, okay, I'm working hard, you know, I'm doing something, I'm walking, my body's hurting because I do this. Your body will hurt because you don't do it, okay? Your body will ache, but will ache a different way. So stretching is important, first of all, like you said, is the elongating, okay? You want to decompress the spine, you want to, and even if you run, like a runner, runner, your muscles will be tight. Right. So you really want to stretch the muscles because if you don't stretch the muscle, it feels like your muscle is um, your muscle is like you flexing. You constantly right. flexing, you know. So you cannot really stretch the muscle. It feels like you walk with a muscle which is constantly flexed. Right. So flex muscle okay. is actually shorter. It's shortened the muscle. That's why it pulls on on all the you know attachments and joints. You know. That's why you need to actually really after the workout. You just need to stretch the muscle. Right. So this has been such a great um, mix-up for me. Now I still run and I hike and I like to be outside, but your class is something that I'm addicted to. And I know when I when my excuses start rolling in, the minute I miss a class, then I tend to miss another class, my body starts barking. Mm-hmm. So, and that's what I'm telling you. Yeah. That's when you don't do it, you feel it. Right. Yeah. You really do feel it. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's powerful work, and I'm so glad that you're sharing this with us today. And also, in your video, I know you're going to talk about elongating and stretching and opening up, but mm-hmm. you're also going to share with us the five things that you can't live without, right? That you can mm-hmm. do wherever. I just love it because uh, it feels like the fountain of youth, literally. I just feel like whatever, you know, you know, Joseph Pilates did, and I like to mix it with, you know, other things, and everybody's these days is like adding things, you know. Right. But it's just the strength. It just gives you that, like, you feel, okay, I can do it, I can do it. You know. Uh, Take yeah. it from the cats and the dogs when yeah. you see them doing I their know. stretches, yeah. right? They don't do anything without, you know, getting up and doing a proper stretch yeah. and, yeah. yeah. So, well, thank you for sharing that with us. I love the work you do. I love you. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. And thank you for letting me to kick your beautiful butt, you know, oh my for God. all these years. <laughs>